Hello and welcome to Angela's Busy Bees Garden and Homestead. Guys, I am so pleased to inform you that I have finally planted my sweet potatoes and my okra. I have three rows of the Beauregard sweet potatoes and one row of uh, Clemson uh, spine um, okra. And uh, these slips were all um, done uh, by placing, um, uh, I cut a sweet potato in half and place it in some soil, leaving the top side above the soil. And I kept the soil moist and I was able to create my own slips, uh, which is a huge blessing. And then of course, here's my okra. These okras are transplants. I purchased these um, because I didn't have any success again this year with my okra. Uh, for some reason, they didn't come up at all. I don't know if it's because the seeds were a little too old, um, but whatever it is, I went on and I purchased uh, some okra transplants. And um, as you can see, they're about, the sweet potatoes are about a foot to a foot and a half apart, uh, but the okra I have at about a foot apart. And uh, I had black plastic covering this area because there was a lot of grass and weeds um, because I didn't do anything to the garden after I harvested sweet potatoes out of this area last year I just left it and of course with all the rain we've had um, in early spring uh, a lot of the grass and the weeds just kind of took over so I used black plastic to smother the grass and the weeds and as you can see it worked um, I had it under plastic for at least a good nine, maybe even 10 days. And as you can see, it did kill a lot of the grass and the weeds. Um, I saw some vines um, that uh, if I was to have left those vines in here, as soon as I watered this area, they would have resurfaced. So um, there's still gonna be a little work uh, to do in the garden in order to keep the grass and the weeds down. Um, but my initial thought was to keep the, blast, the, keep the black plastic down and just make holes in the black plastic so that I could plant my sweet potatoes and my okra. Um, but talking with my son, he said, no, mom, he said, it's been so hot that uh, it might kill uh, the vines or the roots. And you know, I need the roots to create the sweet potato tubers. So he said, if I was you, I would just... Um, pull the black plastic up. So um, I took his suggestion and pulled it up and simply made holes in here. And I was thinking that by pulling up the black plastic that the area below would be very moist, uh, but that was not the case. Um, the soil was very hard um, and had to do a lot of work just to dig a hole. That's how dry it was. And as you can see, there are several clumps um, that uh, as I was digging or you know shoveling the clumps were coming up and as you can see it's quite hard but nonetheless um, I have been able to accomplish this task of planting my okra and my sweet potatoes and I thought I'd come along and share that with you today is June 16th of 2022 I am in growing zone 7a Tennessee and normally Beauregard sweet potatoes need about 120 days uh, to harvest. So with today being June 16th and my first um, frost date uh, of October 15th, that will give me exactly about 120 days. And of course, um, until it gets really cold, I'm going to leave the sweet potatoes uh, slips in the ground. So there you have it guys. This is my area in my backyard um, that I use for in-ground gardening. And these holes that I have here are gonna be used for some flowers. Um, but this is the area that I'm using uh, for in-ground gardening. And I really feel that uh, growing sweet potatoes in ground yields a better harvest than if you were to plant them in containers or in a raised bed. Um, this has just been my experience. I don't know about anyone else, but for me, um, 
this is the best way for me. And over here, and over here in this area, this is the compost bin uh, that my son built for me. And as you can see, grass and weeds have taken over as well. And you see this uh, poke salad or whatever growing in there. Um, but I'm gonna get all of that dug out and start a new compost pile. But um, I'm not gonna keep you guys any longer. Just wanted to come on and share with you that um, another task has been accomplished. And uh, this is really late for me. I've never really planted sweet potatoes and okra this late, uh, but I've been so busy with work, uh, with the farmer's market and preparing for the farmer's market, um, baking bread. I have really been a busy bee, but today has been a good day and I'm really thankful that I was able to get this accomplished. Guys, if you like this video, please hit that like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for future videos. God bless. Bye-bye.